if you're able to multitask. And that was the case with Mason Maggio. And the multitasking has to do with dating and trying out for Jeopardy. <laughs> Uh, that's right. On my uh, second date with my now long-term, very long-term girlfriend, uh, I asked her if she would go on a day trip to Philadelphia with me to try out for Jeopardy the first time I got uh, invited to do so. I didn't really know if she liked me very much, but she took the day off work to take that trip with me, so I guess she did. Yeah, because you're still together. Yep. All right, good for you. Molly Lauer from Pasadena. Um, we're in the middle of an election season, and for a thesis, you wrote about the 2008 election. It was a modern epic poem about that election called The Obominid. The Obominid? Yes, in the style of the Iliad and the Odyssey and the Aeneid. Good for you, that's great. Eric Iasi, you own a lot of CDs and records. Are we talking about the 33 and one third RPM big discs? Uh, all of the above, so really? a lot of 33s, I've been buying a lot of 45s lately, we bought a jukebox. So 45s? Yeah, also well, singles. Yeah. Uh, also thousands of singles. But in the 33s, because I have a collection of those also, not as immense as yours, what's your favorite of all of them? I'd have to say something from the Beatles. Really? Let's say Abbey Road. That's okay, go wrong. All right, let's get back into this one. Molly, you're in command of the board. Go ahead. 